Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. First of all, if you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on channel. In this video, you will learn step-by-step -step procedure to perform verification of Rosemount 8712 magnetic flowmeter. First of all, what do we need in verification kit in order to perform verification? Firstly, we need Rosemount 8714D magnetic flow tube simulator. Secondly, we need Rosemount 8714D 6 core simulator cable. As you can see from the picture that, one end has metal connector, and other end has 6 core. Let's learn how to do verification of Rosemount 8712 magnetic flow meter. Step 1. Note down all existing parameters of flowmeter such as flow tube calibration number, unit, analog output range, and coil pulse mode. We are going to change all these parameters of flow meter. So, it is important to note down these parameters before making any changes in parameters of transmitter. In order to check flow tube calibration number, press tube cal number button of local operator interface. As you can see from the picture, 16 digit flow tube calibration number will display. Note down this value carefully. Now, press analog output range button to check 4 to 20 mA analog output range of flowmeter. As you can see from the picture, 20 mA range will display. Note down this value. In order to check unit of flow, press units button. As you can see from the picture, unit of flow will be displayed on the screen. In addition to this, also check flow totalizer unit. Now, press pulse output scaling button to check coil pulse mode of flow meter. Step number 2. Use local operator interface or keypad to change the parameters of the transmitter to the following. All these details can be found on name plate of Rosemount 8714D flow tube simulator. First of all, in order to change tube calibration number. Step 1. Press tube cal number button, and existing cal tube number will display. Step 2. Press shift button to position the cursor. For example, when you press shift button first time, Cursor will be on first digit from left. Step 3. Press increment button to set the number. Once first digit is set, press shift button again to go to next digit. Then press increment button to set the number. Repeat step 2 and 3 until desired number is set. And press enter button to save this number. For example, when tube calibration number 10000150100000000 is set, press enter button to save this number in transmitter. Step 3. Set 20 mA analog output range to 30 feet per second. Repeat same steps which we have repeated in step 2 to set 30. For example, press analog output range button current analog output range will display. Then press shift button to position the cursor to digit, which need to be set. After this, press increment button to set the number. Repeat same steps until 30 is set. When 30 is set as 20 mA analog output range, press enter button to store this number to transmitter. Step 4. Set unit to foot per second. In order to set unit, press unit button to enter into unit menu. Press scroll down in unit menu, all different types of flow measurement units can be found in this menu. Select foot per second unit, and press enter button to store this unit in transmitter. Repeat same steps to set coil pulse mode to 5 Hz. 
Step 5. Power down the transmitter. In order to power down the transmitter, push power fuse gently, and rotate fuse in counterclockwise direction. Once power is off, disconnect existing connection of terminal number 1, 2, 3, 17, 18, and 19. Make sure that power is off, when you disconnect cable from transmitter. Now, connect 6 core side of cable to rose mount transmitter, and insert metal end of the wiring assembly into the calibration standard. Step 7. Once cable is connected to transmitter and simulator, turn on the power of transmitter. To power up the transmitter, push the power fuse gently inside, and rotate in clockwise direction. Now, disconnect terminal number 8, and connect digital voltmeter in series with this terminal to measure milliampere output reading of transmitter. At this stage, everything is set up. So, we are ready to perform verification test. Step 8. Move the knob of simulator to 3 feet per second position from 0 feet per second. Measured flow value will be displayed on the screen. This measured value should be close to 3 feet per second. Also, note down measured milliampere value from digital voltmeter. This value should be close to 5.60. Now, move the knob of simulator to 10 feet per second position. And note down measured flow value from transmitter display. Measured value of flow should be close to 10 feet per second. After this, move knob of simulator to 30 feet per second position. And note down measured flow value from transmitter display. Measured value of flow should be close to 30 feet per second. And measured milliampere value should be close to 20 milliamperes. Step 9. Move the knob to 0 feet per second, and wait till display shows 0 feet per second flow. When flow becomes 0 feet per second, configure all existing parameters of flowmeter. In other words, we need to restore original parameters of flowmeter. First of all, restore flow tube calibration number of flowmeter. Secondly, set 20 mA analog output range of flowmeter. For example, if 20 mA range was 1.11 liters per second before we started verification, Set 1.11 liters per second as analog output range. Also, change the unit of flow. Lastly, change the coil pulse mode frequency. Step 10. Power down the transmitter. In order to power down the transmitter, rotate power fuse in counterclockwise direction. Step 11. Disconnect 8714D simulator cable from transmitter. Step 12. Connect flowmeter existing cable to terminal number 1, 2, 3, 17, 18, and 19. Once connection is done, turn on the transmitter by rotating power fuse in clockwise direction. Thank you friends for watching this video. If you find this video is informative for you, then please like this video. In my next video, I am going to explain step-by-step -step procedure to perform verification of Rosemount 8732E magnetic flowmeter. So, if you have not subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe channel.